can um, put it, put the recording in the exhibition online. Um, so right. it is recording. And then I'm also going to share it to um, our Facebook page. That way, if people want to watch it live, um, they can. So let me do that now. Let's see. Oops. It should really come out of this part. And welcome really cool. who are just coming on. Hello. Hello. Oh, what a sweetie. <laughs> she doesn't want to say hi. She just wants to look at all of you, but she doesn't want to say hi. Oh, that's all way. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but put your change the names. Put both our names in. Victoria and Alfred. No. You want the you want the, the you want the room, not a virtual background. Okay. Well, actually, right. kind of fun. Right. I think it is. How do you change the names up here? Up there, there's three little dots. With little dots. Put them little dots. <laughs> it gives you choices. We need. Isn't Zoom fun? Victoria. No. Yeah. No, Alfred. Okay. There we go. We are live. So. Um, welcome everybody. Um, hopefully, I'm sure we'll have more people coming in as, uh, as we go on. Um, and I am Christine Shoemaker. I am an artist and I run Shoebox PR. Um, I know a lot of you, but there are a few new people that I haven't met yet. So that's exciting because it's always um, every round it, we have new artists joining in, which is really cool. Um, so I'm always happy to to see new artists and to get more people involved. Um, I run Shoebox PR, which is an artist marketing company, um, PR company and support network for artists. So we're more mentoring now, um, but that is where, you know, we came up with the idea for different collaborative projects, you know, to help artists work together, support artists in many different ways. And so call and response um, started when my team and I got together in March and, you know, started to think about what was happening, you know, with the pandemic, when all of a sudden everything was closed, including galleries and, you know, artists were like had work in galleries and they were stuck, they couldn't do anything and, um, you know, calls for art stopped and it's like, okay, what is, what are artists going to do? And so my team and I, um, sat down and we created the call and response project to help support artists during this time um, to keep artists active to give them deadlines to keep them distracted um you know it's been a long time but the first couple of months like you know if we all remember we're tough you know everybody was stressed everything was so unknown you know we we had no idea we, were, we thought oh this is gonna be great we'll be done by july <laughs> you know and well we're in january now and things are still crazy. So, um, but, you know, yeah, there was a lot of depression and anxiety and, you know, we wanted to help artists get through that. So we came up with call and response. The first month um, we had a hundred artists participating, which was really amazing. And between then and now we've had anywhere between 50 and a hundred. So it just the holidays kind of slowed down because people got busy and then people were in school teaching and things like that. But, um, but we're already, um, I think we're gonna have more than 50 for January. So, um, and I'll post it again. I posted it um, earlier before more people were in here, but um, oops, not that. Um, there's links to sign up for call and response along with some other resources here for, um, for everybody. So take a look there. Um, so yeah, this is round 10 of call and response and we're going on round 11. Um, each round is unique in its own way. Each round is, is really, really wonderful. I mean, I actually just um, answered some interview questions for Jeannie Davis, who is writing an article on call and response. And also, I don't know if anybody else participated in telephone. Did you guys hear? Um, Sean, you did? I don't know if that's a delay or not. Did you participate in telephone? Say that again, please. Oh, sure. The, um, it's an online exhibition called Telephone. I haven't heard of this. Yes, I was involved with uh, the call and response 10, uh, those I was involved in that and recently uh, in that project. Yes, I really enjoyed that. 
because they were writing and poems and uh, writing poems and looking at, you know, what was inspiring, uh, inspirational about drawing and uh, what inspires me. And so we talked back and forth about that and uh, inspired each other. It went by really fast. The response went by really fast. And I saw three or four things that uh, we came up with each day, and it was really impressive. Really enjoyed it a lot. It was cool. Oh, good. A we good will, experience. Uh, a very good experience. Oh, great. And we'll come back and talk to you a little more uh, when we start talking to all of the artists about um, their collaborations. But um, but in, I answered some questions for Jeannie, and she asked me, you know, about... Um, uh, you know, about the whole project. And, you know, I was telling her, and I think I've talked about in other, um, in other artist talks that it's not even the end result. Like what we're looking at today is, you know, it's really, it's wonderful to see like all of the work, but I know when I participated, it was about the process. You know, as an artist participating, it was like just the, that your wheels were turning all of the time that, you know, thinking of new ideas and, you know, working with new media and um, being in contact, meeting somebody new and being in contact with that person. And so it was like the process, I think, for me anyway, was definitely more, you know, more exciting than the end result, you know, because especially you and your artists know the work that you created, or somebody looking, you know, looking from outside may not quite understand it all exactly. But I mean, that's of course why we have the artist talks too. <laughs> so you can talk about it. But, um, but no, it's been, um, it's been really, really great. Um, you know, B, I'm not exactly sure who hosted the telephone exhibition, um, but if I, there'll be an article about it <laughs> with more information. So, um, so you'll be able to, to see that. Um, let me see, letting somebody else in. Um, yeah, so I think with that, I'm trying to think, um, I just want to put a plug in for my peer mentorship program. Um, if you haven't heard about it, it's where I am pairing up artists. It's a free peer mentorship program. I'm pairing up artists and um, artists are mentoring each other. So I put the link in chat, um, take a look at it, take a look at the, you know, the specs on it. Um, as an artist, you know, I think it's just wonderful to be able to work like, you know, have like a mentor and be a mentor because you also learn by teaching and, you know, you share resources and um, hold each other accountable and, um, you know, maybe share calls for art, share your work, share exhibitions. I mean, whatever it is um, so far, you know, from everything I've heard from people, they've been wonderful. So, um, so take a look at that also you know, and sign up for that if that's something you're interested in. So um, I think with that, um, what I will do is um, share my screen and we'll look at the exhibition. Um, and what I'll do is if you wanna go ahead and talk about your work, um, go ahead and raise your hand. And it's either the participants, um, the participants box, or if you upgraded your Zoom, it's now also in reactions and, um, I don't have it, I haven't upgraded yet, so I don't see it in reactions, but um, I think hopefully it'll just show up in the participants if you raise your hand. And, um, you know, you could talk whether your partner's here or not. And, you know, what we'll do is I'll go through um, the art and just talk about the experience. You don't have to talk about each piece because depending on how long we want everybody to get there, um, get a chance to talk about their work. So talk about the experience, talk about the theme of your work or what you were thinking or, um, you know, just how you felt about it um, and any other information like that. But um, does anybody have any questions or anything like that? Or, you know, any other comments about um, the process or? No? <laughs> All right, well, let's see here. There we go. Um, so with that, let's see. So we have Rini um, with her hand up first. And um, let me see, where were you? Oh, I should have brought my list out here to see. Okay, you were first. Let's see. 
way down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, early on, um, I was going, like, I would go in alphabetical order based on the first artist. And then, like, I kept going back and forth. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll go based on, like, the second artist or I'll reverse order. So I did that because the same like Abiola who participates every time, she was always first, <laughs> especially if she was the first artist. And so I wanted to give the chance to spread it, you know, yeah. spread it around. Yeah, there we go. Um, to spread it around. And, you know, I just found it was, <laughs> it's like, there's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and tell us about um, your collaboration with Nancy. Yeah, you might want to go into the images because they look a little sharper when you're, yeah. Definitely. So, yeah, so, um, well, Nancy was great about contacting me first. <laughs> and um, since I was the person that started it, I always, um, it seemed like that was the order that we took. I kind of, I was hoping actually that, um, that we could switch the order. And I wrote Nancy about that. I said, maybe we should switch the order to see what would happen. And she didn't, she didn't actually do it. So, but that's okay. I mean, it was fun. And it, we, we felt like it was like a game, kind of a, a ping pong sort of a game. Um, and I wonder actually what would have happened had I reacted to her work, because it was really, these are my works and then following by Nancy's work. Um, and you can see they, they do kind of go together. I mean, and I think the last piece actually was the one where I felt like the final one that we did, not this one, but the one uh, following, I believe, um, we really, it really looks like we communicated. So maybe that was a, a good, this was the last, final piece I made. And, uh, and then um, Nancy's piece relates a lot to it. So I, I felt like we were kind of, um, kind of hitting some communication. I know her work is more figurative and more collage and mine is more drawing and kind of um, a little bit of sewing and drawing together. So, I mean, it was a lot of fun. And what was good for me was that, um, I mean, I teach full time. So I was really happy to have also my own time because I, I do tend to do my work all the time and have shows and, you know, go on residencies and all that. But um, when I'm in busy in the semester, it's sometimes it's hard to focus on my own things. And my work is definitely process oriented. So I and abstract. And so for me, it was it was playful. And I actually not only did I communicate with Nancy, but I also took some old uh, drawings of mine and I, I, I kind of um, refurbished them. I, I built on them. I didn't I didn't see them as finished pieces. So I made them into something new. And that was fun too. So like, I was a little bit like collaborating with myself as well as with Nancy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know, it really, when I saw the work come in, um, you can see like a through line, you know, throughout the whole thing and just how similar the work is. I mean, even though, yeah, hers are mostly collage and, you know, I mean, you couldn't really tell. It was really, really, it was a good collaboration. Yeah, I mean, we're both, um, I think, kind of, um, you know, searching a little bit for um, the texture of place, you know, I, I feel like it really goes there and, um, and movement. So those things really came through, through all of it. Uh, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I, I thought it was good in a way when I said, like to Nancy, I said, maybe, maybe you can um, <laughs> send me one and I'll, I'll react to it to change the order up. And then then she had sent me that one as the final one. And I thought, well, this is a great finishing point too. So it was kind of, it was a nice way. And we saw it like ping pong. That's, that's how we saw it. Exactly. And you know, the last one that she did really goes with the first one too, that you did. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of made a circle. A little yeah, bit. exactly. Oh, very cool. Thanks. Thanks for nice having me. I, I love collaborating and it's fun to do it blindly like that and not, yeah. you know, not for us, we didn't, I, I, on purpose, I kind of didn't want to pour my, you know, <laughs> my whole self out there. I just wanted to be art and yeah. process. So, yeah. Perfect. Oh, awesome. Well, thanks for participating. Thank you. And, you know, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. 
see. All right. Um, and so I see Anne, and then I think uh, Corrine um, couldn't raise her hand. So, uh, and then our pod. And um, Corrine, I think it's in reactions. If you can't find to raise your hand, um, if you updated your Zoom, I heard it's in reactions now. So um, may want to, you know, keep an eye out for that, but we'll put you, you can go after Anne. Um, so Anne, let's see, you are, where are you on here? Who are you with? Oh, you're towards the bottom with Victoria. Let's see. Or Veron, did I say Victoria? Do I have, oh wait, yes. So did I have your, did I put your name wrong on here? No, oh Victoria's here. Yeah, we're way down there. There we go. But I put Veronica on here. I'm sorry. Oh. I will fix that after when we get off. You'll, <laughs> be, hearing, here. you'll be hearing from my agent, Christine. <laughs> There's and, and her lawyer. And my lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> my people will contact your people. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I don't know where that came from. Oh, well, we'll fix it. <laughs> it's OK. I like the name Veronica. OK, good. <laughs> um, all right. So go for it. Um, did, you, did you want to start, Victoria? Um, well, I did start, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but you're, but, um, but I, yeah, you can talk about the, uh, what happened. <laughs> um, so I just started whimsically with, um, with the, these are all photographs of, of objects. Like the, the first one was a bird bath I have, and then um, and then somehow I got into like this Easter mode. We got into this thing, but we, why don't you carry on, Anne? I mean, not carry on. But <laughs> <laughs> don't challenge me on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so to begin with, uh, yeah, Victoria sent this image. And so I thought, you know, oh, bird statue. So then what I did on, on the second image, which was mine, is kind of enhance it. And I've been painting this baby. So I, I just got a little surrealistic with it. So I, and I you know, changed the goose and made the goose alive and put a, stat, a shadow. And then she sent <laughs> this one. And then I just thought, OK, well, let's make them all come to life. So the next one is that. <laughs> and so um, the egg, I, I, I ate an egg, broke it. And then the egg produced the baby. And then these geese that I took a picture of at the Wolf Park. Anyway, they all became part of this. And uh, then Veronica, yeah. Victoria. Victoria. I see you got me doing it. Victoria, <laughs> this is your. Uh, yeah, well, I, because then it seemed, I felt like we had been, inadvertently, we, I felt like we got gone in kind of an Easter direction. So I thought, oh, I'm going to bring it up to, up to date with Christmas. So I just played around with um, sort of putting bows on the ducks, the geese, and um, and a wreath inside the egg, and then just random like the cow with curlers getting ready for the party. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved it. <laughs> okay, and then uh, yeah. So the next, so once again, I took that image and I took the egg and I did the um, the goose is a, a knitting that I made. So I thought, oh, I'll just have this all explode and. Um, yeah, so there's, and that's my little granddaughter. And then we went into Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> go ahead, Victoria, that's your Christmas. Oh, interview. yeah, no, <laughs> no, I was, I just, I just put the Santa Claus costume on, on the, your f face. I mean, the face of yours. So it's still the same person now. It's her daughter. Now, oh, it's your daughter, did you say? My granddaughter. Oh, your granddaughter. She's a beauty. <laughs> we had so much fun with fun. this whimsical idea. <laughs> and I, then I finally, I took her, I took her candy and just made kisses. A friend of mine gave me candy kisses and I don't eat candy, but I unwrapped oh. them and but actually, well, mine, mine were plum puddings, actually. Oh, <laughs> and mine. <laughs> They're more substantial than candy. <laughs> mine look a little bit, I was influenced by people and wing people. And then I, so I did this little, took the two chocolates and made more chocolates. And it's, it, I had fun. It, we had fun back and forth. It was very whimsical and a lot of fun to do. Yeah, it felt, it felt like ping pong, but that's, that's what I like about the call and response that, um, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not really an artist. So this is giving me a great chance to, <laughs> to play with real artists. <laughs> so thank you, Anne. And thanks, Christine. It was a lot of fun. And it was a nice Christmas activity. <laughs>
Oh, okay. good. I just I want to say this about um, Victoria. She says she's not an artist, but she's an amazing musician. And that means that you are definitely an artist. So. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I also love that Anne was partnered with Victoria's husband in the last round. Oh, is that your? Oh, yes, Alfred. Alfred. Yeah, Alfred. Yeah. Alfred. <laughs> yep. Oh, keep it and in the family. family oh, yeah, family. exactly. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you both so much. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. Oh, good. Um, Sean, I see your message. And Jeannie had mentioned earlier she had forgot and had another engagement. It's like sitting in a friend's backyard. She's going to try and log on, but doesn't know if she'll be able to. So, um, so we can, you know, we'll hopefully keep an eye out for her. And if there's people that can go ahead of you, um, you know, we'll let them go ahead of you. So if anybody else comes in and um, if you are just coming in and want to talk about- Made for your... later, that's no problem. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, if you're coming in and want to talk about your work, go ahead and raise your hand um, in the participants. And if your Zoom is updated, it's in the reaction um, section. So um, so let's see, we have our, our pod. Um, and let's see, you were with Galena, and I don't think Galena's here. Um, unmute my, there, I'm unmuted. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, this there was actually very uh, interesting for me. Um, this is my second one. The first one, I was the second person, so I followed the first artist and we went down a rabbit hole of, of uh, fun. And this one, I was the first person and um, <laughs> it, it surprised me how different it was going first compared to going second. Yep. <laughs> um, so I, I just had come back from um, Yosemite. There was nobody in the park. It was just before they closed it. And I'm sitting at the Awani, so I took a picture of these two uh, hot chocolates in front of their big fireplace, and I said, "Well, let's let's talk about celebration." That's all I said to myself, <laughs> and I posted it. And then Galena just took off, you know, and without talking to somebody, it was just this intuitive thing that each piece somehow evolved around celebration of some kind. And obviously I'm a photographer and she's a painter of some kind. So we went through this whole uh, wonderful thing and it, it made a full circle. It completed itself with the last photo, the last thing being a photograph from her. So um, I don't know if you have that up or not. Um, Let's see, I could go back to the last looking one. At it. We can look and see i think is this the last one with the lemons yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so we went we went from hot chocolate to mardi gras red shoes to uh, uh expressions of joy and fun on the beach to this window i saw uh in um, pasadena and I added little snippets of her characters, all looking at the uh, this this very actually very meaningful <laughs> post. The store is vacant; they went out of business, and this is what they left behind. And then we then I took it another step further. And I created my mountain of joy, which was that one. And what the heck was that? I think this was Galena's, and then this is yours, and then. Uh, yes, yes. I decided to have some fun with that, and then uh, <laughs> then Galena came up with this one, and then we had a celebration in outer space, um, and then we went back to planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so how literally abstract can you get? <laughs> you know, that's so like it that's, was fun. It, <laughs> that's awesome. Can I that's, add something? Can I say something? Oh, yeah. I think I, it, it also went through the seasons. 
you started at the fireplace with the hot cocoa and then you seem to go into your joyous area which is much more spring or the hot torment of summer then you were uh -huh. up in space and then the lemons ends at summertime again it's like you took a cycle of a year and came yeah back around that's to that. true the future, the future in space, and then we're going to make lemonades out of this lemon that we're living through. So yeah. it's a kind of a nice. And that's culture. what was so. That's what's so magical about it is there was very little verbal communication. It was just all based on um, imagery, uh, nice. and it was all saying the same thing in such a different way compared to the first time where there was a lot more conversation and dialogue. So that's all I got. Awesome. You know, that's the really cool thing about the project is, you know, you never know what your artist partner is going to come up with, you know, in response to what you do or to start or, you know, and normally when I pair up artists, I will look at the previous like call and response. And if the artist participated before, I will look to see if they were first or second and try to do the opposite. That way all the artists have a chance to go you know, both ways, because it is totally different, you know, depending on how you start or how you respond. Um, but, you know, yeah, you never know what you're going to create, especially as the first one, you know, with the hot chocolate, you had no idea how she was going to respond. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, it's really cool to see, like, you know, to kind of figure out where your minds went, you know, and yeah, so very cool. Good to Great and the funny part was I sent her an, an email yesterday saying there's a good chance I will not be on this call today because I was in San Diego uh, on a photo shoot and I show up and she doesn't. So come on. This is just <laughs> too cool. I know. <laughs> um, let's see. All right. So B. Uh, let's see, where are you here? Oh, oh, you're with Brenda. That's uh, right. And there's another Beatrice. <laughs> yep. No, I'm not with Brenda. I'm with Pow. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> the other B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you were, let's see, let me look at my list and see. Um, where are you on my list? I'm with Pow Gold. Oh, yes, Pow. That's right. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Yes. I don't think Pow is on. Yeah, no, I haven't seen her. And you know, I think it's a he. No, it's a she. Is she? Yeah. Oh really? yeah. She's <laughs> See, that's the interesting part of the project. I, huh? I know nothing much about um, my partner. Um, I am glad to learn of that. <laughs> and um, Pau is from Buenos Aires. Yes. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed working with Pau as I I just found it to be so fluid, the process. We didn't respond in any way, shape or form via email. Um, so, I mean, we would say, yes, it's your turn type of a thing, but we didn't really say anything more than one line of, are you enjoying the process? And yes, and that's it. And now it's your turn. Okay, you know, now it's your <laughs> turn. That's all we did. So um, what I did was take, if we can go back, Christina, what I'm gonna do is actually read, POW started. So as I approach the edges, POW, and POW I think is very much a, a, like a um, text-based artist. Um, and does a lot on site, like kind of like, um, like kind of in the city on like uh, on walls and spaces and, you know, a billboard, not billboards, but like, you know, um, whitewashing, like kind of like scaffolded areas, things of this nature with text. Anyway, so okay, as I approach the edge, and then mine are not labeled, but I'll read my titles because it, I think it became a poem. I recall suckling honey from the rock. It was an installation I did in the park on mylar and reflections of um, uh, trees and honey and rock. And that it comes from biblical reference, actually. I just kind of researched that. And it was really interesting to sort of think about the rock as Gaia or Mother Earth and, and the honey with that kind of combining. You can see the teaspoon on the bottom right. Um, OK, as I approach the edge, I, I'll, maybe I'll just read the poem. As I approach the edge, uh, I recall suckling honey from the rock. And then Pau says, honey graveyard of love. To which I respond, 
of loss and of light. Wow. Which is turmeric, dirt, honey, and mylar. Resting before the last day of existence, to which, of course, I have a photo that I took <laughs> uh, earlier in the year, but still this year. Can my presence still be felt? Sometime in the future, Pao says, I know my wings will stop carrying me. That beautiful bird of paradise. Yeah. And then I go on to say, I wonder how the wind and sun once felt. I've been photographing plastic bags and trees a lot. And that was a beautiful color and wow. actually a beautiful, beautiful kind of stunning. Yeah. I've never seen a plastic bag that color. And then happens this life always changing, this light's red and green. Oh, I think we have a- Oh, error. you know some, um, oh, you know, I know what happened because, um, let's see, we're in the galleries and then because of the video. Oh, and, wait, oh, we're on the, oh, there's one missing. Oh, is that the one that you had sent? Yeah, I, number nine. You know, and it's right here. <laughs> That's that one. Yes. So this came first, this light always changing, this light's red and green. So of course you can read into it as maybe Christmas or holidays and the hustle and bustle or the stop and go, all this stuff. So I kind of reined it back into my video, which is called Invoking the Light. And I, I played with Mylar, I do a lot with Mylar and light and um, reflections from kind of like, um, crystals and things of this nature to make the rainbows. Then Pao responds, I feel your presence at screen distance. So then started to come really very personal and emotive. And I reply, have you looked up to watch the snow falling? Which and was it just, did fall for you, didn't it? <laughs> it did, but this, this, it looks so cosmological. It, this snow was taken in January of last year. So the beginning of 2020 on my son's birthday. And I had never seen snow falling like that before yeah. because of the fact that it, I was in a football field and it was encircled with lights around. And I wow. just, yeah. And then Pao says, say when, you know, after have you looked up to watch the snow falling with this beautiful <laughs> play button like, okay, how will B respond next? Or what is the next kind of response um, that's going to take place? And I just found it so much more poetic to leave it open-ended. So yeah. that's why I did not respond. I thought that was the perfect way to end where anyone else can kind of think on however the direction may take, you know? Cause I was thinking and kind of, it felt forced where I was like thinking about some natural element again. And I'm just like, no, I think that's exactly where we end. So, I mean, it, it was a lot about nature and existential matters and spiritual and technological, you know, life, death and regeneration. And I think healing is entered in there as well. And yeah, so it was really I, wonderful. I yeah, love it was, that. It was great. <laughs> Very cool. And you know, Pow is lovely. She's participated a few times. She's, um, I'm Fantastic. sorry she be here, but yeah, you'll have to, Fantastic. you know. I can't maybe. wait uh, to have more interactions with Pow because yeah. I really thought this was such a special, genuine, um, intuitive kind of process that was on, like, there was no mark, there was no rules for it, but and that it was so open, but everyone stepped into it I felt really kind of fr like vulnerable and open and so it just felt like we were doing this from next door in some way but and we I, I felt like I couldn't wait for the next response and the next response it was just like so like I yes and it was just so freeing you know to kind of work and and uh, want to kind of um you know, respond to somebody. So again, I, 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 all of us have said this, but thank you so much for conceiving of this wonderful um, gift, I think, you know, truthfully a gift. You're very welcome. And yeah. I'm so happy you're participating. It's yeah, so good to see you. A lot of fun. <laughs> Brooklyn and Argentina, right? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> awesome. Um, well, let's see, Yulia and Kayla. And let's see, let me find where you are. I think you're halfway up. Hi, everyone. That was my first time participating in this. Is it your first time? Yes, first time. Oh my time, gosh. Yes. 
But Kyla was uh, before, right? Kyla, is it your second? Yeah, Kayla's done almost Kayla. every one, I think. Or a lot of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done uh, uh, every one of them except one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool, cool. Well, Kayla was the first one. Okay, come on, computer. Ah, what happened? Oops. It's going slow. I don't know why. I got a new computer. I should not be doing this. There's so much information on the page. It's just getting I know. <laughs> and that is probably true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Kayla, do you want to start or talk about the work? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, this, this round took a really interesting turn. Um, so I was kind of, I started with these, uh, paper and photo collages where I was like printing digital images and then collaging on top of them. Um, and I kind of had this idea in my head that I was just going to do this kind of stuff for the round and stay more physical because I've, I've tended to go more digital um, as the rounds have continued. And uh, <clears throat> at some point, um, Let's see, where, where is it? At some point, Yulia did this piece that just completely turned everything around and we started uh, essentially on like a, a traveling adventure. <laughs> um, she, she made this, uh, I think it was the one where it said uh, like- Where would uh, you like to let's go? Let's go. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had a photo that said, let's go as the text and I said where are we going and then you sent uh, a series of photographs of places and you said pick one and so uh, I kind of wrote about all the all of what I saw in the photographs of the places and kind of like ruminating on what it would be like to go to each of the places and uh, and it just kind of took off in a really interesting direction from there. It was it was really fun. It was not at all what I expected. It was kind of, it was like totally different than any other round. Um, <laughs> it was very cool. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla, as well. And uh, for me, it was um, like something I wanted to to try, uh, like collage with my photographs. Like I have the, some printed already, and I just tried to um, put some uh other like some paper i had and just uh try to do it like freely but it was actually hard not to be like i was trying i i, I put i glue something and then like maybe i should add more this or that but i tried to keep in my head that um that the this collaboration is about not to be perfect <laughs> just to try and uh, try to limit myself with time not to do it too long but it was actually very difficult but I um, like I'm glad I tried this uh, to do this collages and also some video so yeah it was uh, cool to try <laughs> very cool it yeah it I love the progression and um and how you know yeah I mean and you know, that happens a lot of times in the call and response where it shifts. You never know where it's going to go, you know, just like how it shifts. And, um, and again, you never know what the other artist is thinking or planning. And it's so cool when it's like exactly where it was meant to go, you know, <laughs> however that looks. So very cool. Thank you both. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. And let's see. So we have Ashley, who is with Maria. And I don't think Maria's here. Let's see. No, I don't see her. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> oops. Aha. And here we go. So um, we just had. Oh. Go ahead. What? <laughs> No, go ahead. <laughs> so we decided to stick to the Christmas theme. Um, we both did a lot of holiday uh, pictures. Um, 
she did a lot of photography and also some line drawings. And I um, was really focusing on my interior designs. And um, I am proud to say that I opened my interior design business. Um, I purchased a DBA with a uh, seller's permit for California and it's called Ashley Violet Design. And um, after talking to Christine, which I'm so glad I did, I can still have, I was so confused at this point. Am I an artist, but my interior designs, is that my art? But I, I got my degree in studio art, so I know so much about painting and drawing and colors and value and texture and photography and so uh, ceramics. So I really want to utilize that stuff. Although interior design is still my, my profession, it's still my art, but I still have to make my name for Ashley Hester as an artist. So um, now I'm going to you know, I was really, really focused on my interior design business here, um, starting it up and how to separate these two in my mind and as like a sole proprietor and how this all works. So uh, Christine and I really figured it out. Uh, she's she's uh, so smart. Um, but yeah, so I, here I was trying to do like different storefronts and um, outdoor patio um um, store, you know, what, what it would look like decorating during Christmas time. Um, and I, I used to do that um, when I worked at a boutique to help decorate the windows, um, you know, and so I, I think that's a form of art, right? It's, it's like you're living in it, art, a livable art. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice to be multidisciplinary and have lots of tools to practice art and still create. Um, but here is just like a bakery that I made um, with the holidays and try to do the matching floors with the furniture and the black and white um, design. Um, I'm also really focusing now on trends with modern um, nature which is like really big um for me right now is incorporate nature into my interior designs um just bring makes me happier and not depressed being around nature especially with the coronavirus um this was just like a hand drawing into a different flooring for an apartment um tea cardwood and imagined stone azure with marble countertops and what that would look like with the furniture arrangement of a floor plan for, um, this would just be like a girl that uh, industrial lives by herself, works a lot, um, you know, in an industrial setting. Um, she sent me this marvelous, I think it's like broccoli cheddar soup, but it looked so good. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, like how good does that look right in the holiday season with like uh, sweet potato soup or broccoli cheddar or oh my gosh, I, I know she handmade that too. So um, I responded to her. I was like, let me, I'm going to build you a kitchen. <laughs> Your own holiday kitchen. So I got the pink Christmas tree and the um, uh, pink furniture and the wood mountain lodge for Christmas. When you responded to her with this, did you tell her that I'm building you a kitchen for the season? Yeah. That's so cool. Like, that looks so good. You need a kitchen. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder, you know, I know some people like only send images back and forth and that's it or video or with no explanation, but some people do give explanations. So no, it's really we, interesting. Yeah, yeah, we did some explaining. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cute. I, I downloaded this and uh, she sent it to me and I made it my background um, image for my phone during the holidays. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. And then I built uh, a Barbie dream house, mm -hmm. um, my dream house for uh, the holidays. Beautiful. I bought my daughter a dollhouse. So that's like in my mind, I knew I was going to buy her one. So I was trying to design it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just connecting the two. Yep. But yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Really great collaboration. Thank you. Now I'm going to incorporate more, um, you know, line drawings and paintings and um, and st I, I figured out what I wanted to do with my um, interior designs thanks to call and response. Figured oh, that out. So now I'm going to um, incorporate more. I'm going to try to go back to more um, hand renderings and see what I can come up with and create. Awesome. Oh, very cool. I can't wait to see them. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, all righty. Let's see. Ada, I think you are at the very top. And I don't think why yeah, I'm here. I, see, I don't no. see her here. I did invite her again, so maybe she'll jump on at some point. But yeah, she said earlier. I emailed her. She said I don't know if I can make it, but I'll try. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So, so this was my second attempt at this, and um, and met Lila for the first time. Never knew her before. Same as my previous artist that I met. <laughs> And um, it was an interesting collaboration. We did talk to each other a little bit te by text. And um, not necessarily, sometimes about the work, but mostly we became friends, which was quite nice. I mean, we shared kind of life experiences and where we've come from and what we were doing. So at any rate, so I've been doing, I did, this was the first one that I sent her, which was a, a, an oil painting of a sky at a house. I've been doing these sky paintings. And then she works a lot as a, um, as a commercial artist and does a lot of design work. And she works on the computer a great deal, which is something I'm always challenged with, but I have an iPad and I, I do some drawing on it. So she brought back this, she took my image of the house and added a photo, which reminded her, she said it was a home that she knew with a tree that she was very familiar to from her childhood. So she threw that house in because I was thinking home in the house and this guy. <laughs> During this COVID time, I'm in my home all the time. And the only outdoors, I walk the dog and I look at the sky. <laughs> and that's about it. So um, we so she played with it with Photoshop. <clears throat> then I came back and threw a photo I had of a tree on top of that. And I did a watercolor outline of the house and threw that on top so now this now i'm using photoshop and using my ipad oh so cool. this one was my response to her so i was like trying not to be such a neophyte on that one <laughs> and then she came back with this because the house reminded her of a road and where she grew up her house and her dog, which she just happened to have lost. He died recently. Aww. And so she was mourning her dog as I was mourning home and places I've been. The tree that I had put inside the house was a tree for me that I had traveled to Europe and, and I hadn't been back there for such a long time. I missed it. And that was like a second home because that's where my, my family comes from Europe. And so she put her dog in there and a road that she traveled where she grew up. And so we started back bouncing back and forth. And I think there was a kind of um, similarity to us. So then I worked on paper and I did my home again on paper this time. And then I threw that design. I did two prints of a silhouette of the house and put some gold leaf on it and played with watercolor on a really nice paper. But then I threw it into the iPad and I drew this bird because that field and the home and the dog, and there is a little bit of an image of a hawk or a bird inside that previous one. And she, and so I wrote back, have you talking, speaking of hawks. <laughs> so yeah. Then she took my image and did this image. So you can see my image is sort of under it. And then she made it larger and played with it a little bit. And the house is in the corner there. So she came back with her her falcon and she loves falcons. And so we started chatting about falcons. <laughs> and then I took another bird and house and image. And this again is done both on the first by hand in watercolor and drawing, and then scanned and photographed into the iPad and then played with in the iPad. So I was practicing. And actually she was a great teacher because uh, she kept telling me things that I could do by also showing me how to do things. And I was discovering tools I hadn't played with yet. Oh, so cool. this became, so we were bouncing back and forth both technically as well as emotionally. 
So she brought back her falcon. And this was a piece she said she had worked on a long time ago. And it was the god of the falcon. That's an Egyptian um, Horus, I guess it is, Hora. And, and the landscape with the sky and then her falcon. So this is entirely, she did this entirely in Photoshop as a Photoshop collage. And then I came back and I did my bird again, but this time I loved the eyes when I thought of it. And this was an owl because I have a thing for owls. And so I just like, I felt like it, what we kind of were taught, we were both thinking of home and being isolated and nature was coming up a lot. And how I feel like I'm looking out at the world and the owls looking back at us. So it was just this world of nature and texture. And so I was having fun. So this is Photoshop on top of another photoshopped piece. So the pieces we each worked on each other's pieces. And then this she did separately. So she took her fa her falcon, I guess it is, and drew the falcon ear, which is with the headband. And she did this entirely in Photoshop and played with it with her iPad and drew on it. And so then I came back and took a watercolor um, that I had been worked on. And then on top of it also applied this bird and I was going to do more and draw and play with it but I just liked it the way it was so I sent it that way and that was so that one went fast and we had this 24-hour turnaround and she's really fast because she can use the iPad and she knows and while she was doing this she was also working on a project for her commercial side doing the 12 days of Christmas you know that song partridge in a pear tree and so she did every single day she was doing a new one and uploading it to her site so it was like I don't know how she did this but she kept me moving faster on the iPad <laughs> and so this is her photo with the falcon ear and the hand I just love that hand and something coming toward it again the sky and that paint that iris or that plant back there is from a, one of her paintings she's a really very skillful painter. And so she did this beautiful painting of the flower. Wow. And then on top of that, she's got the photo collage um, in the iPad. So it's quite lovely, the layering on of the sky. And then I came back and I took, I love the idea. I took some photos from when I was in, this little statue is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I grew up in New York and it's my favorite piece. Every time I go to the Met, I go straight to her. It's this mm -hmm. dancing woman from the Hellenistic period. It's ancient and she's the veiled woman. And I absolutely love it. So I had put that in. And then the architecture in the background was from the Hagia Sophia when I was in Turkey, which was the last time I traveled. And I just miss traveling so much. And of course my Falcon again. And then this was her last piece. She started coming in with a fantasies also of, again, the idea of the fit, looking at this Falcon. And so we bounced back wow. and forth. we had a lot of fun. And, and she actually even threw me some videos to look at on how to use the <laughs> iPad. So I found it really informative. I learned a lot. And I made a really wonderful friend. I like her very much. So there's something very charming about meeting someone that um, I might not have ever known if it weren't for that. And we have a lot in common. We love animals. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, I think we're here. Uh, B asked, um, let's see, will these, will this impact the way you work with layering? I think it will. Well, you know, I do, I've been painting a lot with kind of playing with layers. Basically, I love painting because I love the tactile quality of it, but the uh, bringing that to the, um, to the iPad and then taking it back into painting. But most, all of my iPad work starts with a painting. And then I was layering photos and things on top. So will it impact it? I'm sure. I'm sure it will. I mean, it gave me another place to think out ideas and how to work ideas. I usually just work in a sketchbook and um, the iPad is becoming that other tool that I can work with and figure it out. And then I ultimately, I love painting it. I'd like to figure out, and this is a question I can ask anybody who knows how to do this, is if these can be printed in a way that make them feel more tactile, because I don't want them to look like photos on a shiny paper. I'd like them to feel uh, like a watercolor paper or something like that. So I might want to investigate how I would produce these as finished images to be hung somewhere, not just to be seen virtually. You should be able to find many different papers. Arpad, did you have a comment about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you just print 
what you're doing on watercolor paper. Going and through. And they'll have the. Do you have, have, the a, have a special it. printer for it? No, no. Any digit. Well, anyone that's printing digital images can print on watercolor paper, fine art paper, um, uh, laser like, etch paper. Is it outputs G clays kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I have oh, a yeah. it's, it's easy HP to do. printer. That's about it. I'm thinking if I stick watercolor paper in my HP printer, will I screw so it up? So here's a, here's a suggestion. Why don't you try printing on tissue paper with your oh. printer? Oh, tissue paper. I've tried yeah. that and it got stuck. So be careful. <laughs> well, you have to tape the tissue paper to the sheet of paper. Oh. And then you run it through the printer. I do this for encaustic wax. That's huh. how you get these like uh, really thin layers in, in the wax. So it's right. it's a pretty fun technique. Huh. Yeah, if I could put it on an archival paper and then I could take that paper, like a watercolor paper, and paint on top of it and draw on top, that would be... Yep, kind, yep. That's, that's kind of more where I would go naturally because I like the physicality of making things like that. Yeah. Yeah. I but, can't wait to see what you do. Yeah, I do too. I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> it's a really wonderful collaboration. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I wish she were here because she's such a lovely person. Yeah, I don't know if you saw Joanne commented that um, they're really good friends and has a couple of comments in chat. Oh, so I'll have to look. <laughs> I, have, I, was, I have to open up chat. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to get to know you too. Do, do you live up where she is? Joanne, where do you live? I'm in Tustin, California. Oh, so our, pad, our pad's down in San Juan Capistrano, right, our pad? <laughs> and, and Lila is up in the Sacramento area. Yeah, so she's up in Sacramento. And I'm, I'm in Los Angeles, so it's, um, I'll have oh, her. Great. Yeah. This ghost. <laughs> yeah, so one day I'd like to meet her in person. And Lila has been chatting with me. I let her know you guys were on talking about her work to see if she could jump in. But her, her brand new dog is a handful and is being too barking and loud right now. She can't get him calmed down. So I know I that was she have her, her, her husband take him for a walk. So I don't know if she'll pop in or not. Yeah, well, I, that, that was the thing is her, she lost a dog. And then at the same time, she got a dog while we were doing this process, which was really sweet. So it, yes. it was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we thank you for telling me that though. It's nice to know someone who knows her because I feel like I made a new friend. It was quite nice. Oh, she's an awesome friend. I, I she's really picked me up and uh, and kept me going for so long with lots of little daily just chit chats and, and sharing me with your work. It, she's been showing oh. me what you two have been doing. So I know more of the story probably. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah. And our pad introduced me to this. So and then I introduced I sent it to Lila to see if she could start Yay. doing it. So it's neat. We're all kind of helping each other. Oh, that's nice. Stay creative, you know? Yeah. And Christine, I was first again. I was in round nine, I think, or round seven. I was oh, first okay. again. So it's like, if I do it again, I want to be second for a change. Let me know. Put that note, because depending on if it's the next one, I'll keep an eye out and I'll try and remember. Right, but right. I do have a bad memory and realized I told Corrine she could go a little while back and I forgot to call on her. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, sorry. no, it's not you. It's me. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, just remind me, Ada. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. Um, Corrine, you're up. <laughs> and let's see, who are you with? Um, oh, yeah, you were with Eva. And I don't think Eva's here. Um, no, I don't think Eva's here, unfortunately. Is it? There we go. Do you want to? I think you're muted, Corrine. All righty. Um, so Eva Marie and I had just an incredible connection as we moved through this and um, 
I responded to her titles as well that um, helped guide me um, as I was moving through this with her. So this is her first, she took a photograph, I believe it's of herself, I'm not sure. Um, and then she photocopied it. And she called this one overexposed. So my piece, um, I called underexposed, the plight of the rhino. And um, this collage is a media that I work in a lot. Um, and it was very sort of very stimulating to know that I had to turn this around so fast. Um, it was really helpful. <laughs> um, and it helped me just being able to churn out that much work in a short time just gives you momentum to keep going. Um, her piece, the next one is called Magnified. And I struggled on this one because I knew somewhere I had gold leaf that I'd never used before <laughs> and I wanted to do it, but um, couldn't find it. Eventually I found this uh, gold box I had and I called this one Magnifique. I love that. And then the next one is uh, called Ondo, O-N-D-O. Um, it's either a, it's a type of dance or a type of clothing that goes with the dance. And um, from there, I, mine is called um, Ondas y Ojos, uh, Waves and Eyes in Spanish. Um, the colors you know, is very stimulating, the sort of the fan uh, repetitions um, are in there too. And then she came up with this one morning cup. And this one I was really stuck on for the longest time. And then I made, ended up making a collage that's totally different. Um, there's some similarities, but basically that's not my palette at all. Um, but it was really fun to be pushed that far. And um, the next one she picked up on all the, the eyes I was putting in there and um, did that. I believe that's her cat. And uh, the clock or watch is something that I have a lot in my work. And so I picked up on that with, with this last piece. Um, this is the third time I've done these call and responses and I always love it. It's always really stimulating. So really appreciate that you're uh, making this possible, Christine. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, no problem. No, it's uh, such a fun collaboration too. And, um, you know, I love how you started and just where it went. I mean, it's so kind of minimal at the beginning and then it got, you know, till the end, like, you know, I don't know, just more, more, more. And no, it's really wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ibuki. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, you were at the top with Angela. I don't think Angela's here. Oh, uh, yes. I oh, are you? Uh, no, I don't see Angela here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, yeah. Hi, Christine and everyone. Happy New Year. So this is my, uh, this was my ninth participation in this collaboration. We didn't talk that much. So my partner, Angela, mainly creates paintings. And it was interesting to see different reactions and uh, perceptions each time. Some of the responses had an essence like mechanical and sometimes organic. So through this collaboration, I was able to get inspiration from the transformation of the body with, you know, like a machines, like uh, in, includes organic and the not organic stuff and the overlapping of images. Especially Angela's uh, number six responses title was uh, neural link and the words and the images were more reminiscent of the human brain and anatomy. So I was happy to learn a new word from her response. So this was really uh, interesting. So thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm just showing like a few seconds from a couple mm -hmm. of the videos since they're a little longer, but everybody will have to, in fact, I'll put a link in the chat just so everybody 
has it if you want to go and watch all the videos later if you haven't had a chance. Um, I highly recommend. I mean, there are the videos, you know, I mean, you could definitely see the inspiration, you know, from the videos to the, from the paintings to the videos. Yeah, yeah. I love the combination of like a pain, paintings and videos. Video is like a, the capture, the oh, image, but the moving, the painting is uh, like a one image, but the, there are so many informations. Um, yeah, I love the com combination video and uh, painting responses. Yeah, very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, all right, Jess. Let me see, Jess. Hi. Hello. <sighs> this is my daughter, Silan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> very anxiously waiting for this moment. <laughs> I don't think Dallas is here. I know I do not see her here. I know she was very busy. Well, we can go down. No, she's not here. I have a list up here. Okay, so um, this is my first time participating. I'm in New York and I belong to a group um, called Artist Mother Podcast. And there was a member in that it. group who um, has participated in this. So she told us about it and I thought this is great. And I actually, um, I assign a call and response assignment to my students. So I was so excited to do it myself. I was like, oh, this is always good for a teacher Wait, to try this Wait, Izzy was the winner of it, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I started with a video of a um, shadow of a plant um, in our apartment. We get really beautiful afternoon light. So most of the time I had to work, you know, around four o'clock um, when my day was done teaching. So, which had, happens to be the most beautiful light of the day. So I kind of was lucky there. Um, so it would start out, you know, it started with this video and then Dallas um, sent me this black and white image. And I'm not sure, I think it's a photograph like of an installation. I think it's, a, it is a photograph as an art of, work of art is an actual photograph. Um, and so it definitely was making me think of earth and soil. Um, and so then I ended up doing this piece, video piece, which is a more subtle movement. Um, I was really picking up on the plants. This is soil in my plant in my home. And then it's just light refraction into a macro lens. Wow. Um, and it was creating so I was really excited to, that the white came from light because um, her work has like a very um, spiritual, it had a real spiritual piece that I wanted to pick up on. Um, so then she came back with that number four and then- That's better. And then I took, so that one was called Cosmos. So I was really interested in that title. And I thought about the cyanotype that I had so this was a cyanotype of sand that I ended up photographing and then making um, black and white you and working on it. Hair. No, that's a different one. Ah. <laughs> so this was, yeah. So then she came back with this one. And then I think this is when I got hard because I kind of was feeling there was a lot of repetition. I was like, how do we move on? Like, I want to move away from this. Um, and I ended up making a video actually using this fidget spinner. Um, which again was just like picking up black and white. Oh, cool. And the circular, I wanted something with circles. Um, and sunset. And it had the sunset, which help, was helpful because then it moved it into a direction where we finally got color. <laughs> I felt like we really needed some color in, the, in all of these works. Um, so she came back with this, which I thought was just beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then I created a video Wait, inspired by the. That, was that on our leaves. No, this is actually just walked around the neighborhood. 34th Avenue? Mm -hmm. oh. So that was a video I created with, um, I started then making work on walks, which was really helpful to get me out of the house too. Um, An excuse to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. So then she came with that and then I, this I is um, various photographs overlaid. I feel like that was the most, at the end is when it became, I feel more successful. 
nice. At least for me, I felt that. But I love this fun. No, this is Dallas did this one. I love this piece. And I didn't know where it was going to go, and then I got the email that it was over. Oh. <laughs> I thought, oh, good, because I'm not sure where to go now. Like, oh darn! <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really beautiful collaboration. Thank you. It was so fun. I that, really enjoyed it um, so it much. Nice. It was it was a time that I could really get into process more than I usually do. Um, I, most of my work is more content driven. And so to make work that was really about form and process was really, it was very, um, I don't know, it was rejuvenating and, and refreshing. My mom. Good. Good. Yeah. I hope you'll participate Thank again. You. Yeah, definitely gonna do it again. Yay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. So All righty, the other bee. Let's see, and you are, oh yeah, with Brenda up front towards the top. Oh wait, B isn't here, that's right. Or wait, no, are you? yes, you're here, duh, I saw your name. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just dropped, it's, it's fun to be in a Zoom room with another Beatrice. I so <laughs> agree. That can happen, hello. <laughs> And I know what's funny, what's hysterical is that the first time I ever heard my name outside of my, my existence was when I was in fourth grade in a doctor's office and the receptionist was talking to her daughter and I was like, oh, there's another beach was in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I got <Yeah>, there. <laughs> um, B, yeah. are you still in New York? I'm still in New York. Um, okay. We had to do a... Um, we did a Zoom family Christmas this year. It was my first time not being with my family for the holidays, so. Yeah, and I have to apologize to you really fast too. I like, I don't go into that email very much where we've been communicating and, um, and I like saw it the other day and I'm like, oh my God, I need to get back to them. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, I've been meaning to follow up too, but <laughs> now that we're in a new year, we can get yes, exactly. going again. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was with Brenda, which I'm sad to see that she's not here right now. Um, yeah, so this was her first first thing. I mean, she, it's, it's Kelly Loeffler, which I actually didn't know. I, I'm very, like, not up to date with political things. Um, and when she sent this to me, she said, oh, I'm so sorry to be political on the first thing. <laughs> I really didn't know what to do because I am not political with my work and I had to kind of look up who she was and what was all about so I decided to just go with my emotional response and that was my emotional response and I submitted three my first response was three images that's the first one um then I did kind of a collage with my eyes a couple of different ways so those were like my three versions of the same idea and then from that point we just went totally um like playful nutty like uh she made this little peekaboo and she's saying peekaboo peekaboo <laughs> that was her like we just went to a totally different direction became kind of children and at heart um and so that peekaboo I um made yeah you can click on the image or like or the gif um but I made a little like window eyes thing <laughs> to make the eyes you know have a peekaboo happening um, so that was a fun thing to play with. Um, and then from there, let's start. We had a kind of different media at different times. <laughs> Brenda made this beautiful um, video collage, which she said she was doing a lot of her work on the iPhone, which I, I need to follow up with her. I was hoping she'd be here today to tell us the secrets, but she seems to be able to do these really, um, what looked to me like very complicated video collages that are are beautiful um but I think she's all the work is on her phone so um yeah so it kind of went psychedelic colorful um so I went psychedelic colorful and she had music on hers so I added music to mine um and I have these lights that change color and I was capturing the reflection and if, yeah if you go kind of in the middle of that video it gets a little wilder um coordinated it with the music to kind of have that playful um and then I guess the colors made Brenda think of a peacock so we have this again I think she made this on her phone which again I like don't know how but um beautiful peacock video um 
Yeah. And then, and then I just had, I just made a, a visual peacock with some colored papers that I had. Um, and then also took a, I did two responses to this one, a, a picture of myself with some party, one of those party, um, what are they called? You know, the things that yeah, I don't <laughs> blow <know>. out. <laughs> I had some from my birthday from the summer and I thought, well, these seem like kind of like peacock feathers. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that noise, but it's the, it's the part yes <laughs> so we you know it was just playful all the way and then I ended with a gif um where I tried to kind of capture the same kind of explosion idea but with wire and a photo of myself um playing with the reflection there and so yeah it was it was a quick little exchange um started from somewhere <laughs> Political and serious, and then serious, and went totally wild and childish, and um, honestly, it was just like a, it was a lot of fun, um, a lot very colorful and playful. So um, yeah, this is my I don't know fourth or fifth time. I'm not sure when I exactly started, but um, yeah, every exchange has been so much fun, and I I really used it as an opportunity to just have a little fun daily creativity. Um, and it's been a great way to just kind of think of little playful things I can do. Um, less, less of the like serious art making mind and more of just kind of letting, letting things kind of flow and be fun. So um, it's been great, great to meet, meet new artists and to, to play together as we very definitely did. In this, <laughs> this exchange. Oh, that's awesome. You know, I like, I have um, so much, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. I don't know, like artists who can like do the video and the music at the same time. <laughs> when I was doing my videos for like, when I was with the Buki, um, I like, I didn't know how to do it. So I would record the video on my phone and on my tablet, I would have a song playing like right next to the phone. So it was like separate. And I'm like, I know there's a way to like put music in a video, but it's like, I have no idea and I don't have time to learn. Well, and I don't know, like, I don't know how Clearly Brenda has some secrets, like I said, like with, with doing this like really quick on a phone, I, I'm a little bit more old school with my video editing experience and I just like go into Premiere and I actually like do things in Premiere and I pull in the audio track to make adjustments and like, you know, do all of that, which is a little bit more labor intensive, but um, that's how I do my videos. Yeah, yeah. But the I gifts... The gifts I actually made on, on Google Photos is a little feature where you can just pick two images and you can make a GIF in like two seconds. It's called Ooh, an animation. Cool. Yeah, and you can make one with like multiple images. I did that once for another call and response a couple um, sessions ago. Um, yeah, so it's- I'll it's to play with that. <laughs> and try something new, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And you know, Brenda, she's done call and response a few times. And I think, I mean, I don't know how much video she did before, but she like really experimented early on too. And then all of a sudden got on TikTok and that was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she, well, just, she told me, she told me in a couple of email exchanges that she was working on some kind of writing project and um was just using using this as that she was always really quick to respond because she was using the call and response as kind of a fun procrastination <laughs> technique <laughs> so <Yep>. yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> wonderful well thank you so much thank you you're welcome happy new year yes, everybody happy new year uh let's see joanne uh, where are you in the, let's see you are with who are you with? Oh yeah, with Cynthia. So I think you're close by actually. Oh, there we go. Hi, um, just want to let uh, Niall know that uh, you, you sent me a message privately, but it was meant for B. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you said, B, really fun, colorful images, great flow. So that's from Niall to B. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. So tell us about so your- I've done a few of these. Uh, oh, what? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, so I've done a few of these collaborations as well. This one, I was with Cynthia Cole. She, uh, I asked her ahead of time if she could make it and she said she had family things to do so she wouldn't be able to. Um, and she was the first artist to start and she's uh, more of a photography type person. 
And I was doing all kinds of uh, back and uh, thing, working in different kinds of media and back and forth between responses. So her first picture was the, the previous one with the, um, like her window shears. And it looks like she kind of overlaid uh, another image, like a double exposure kind of thing with a road going into the distance and a sunsetty sort of feeling. So, um, and it was, I forget the name of it. Um, it was something about you know her window, and so I I did mine back and I did a looking through my window, and I had um, uh, blinds for mine. So or mine's called looking through my blinds, and um, let's see. And I, my husband and I had gone for a walk. If you go back to that one, Christine, and one night it, it was just outside of our house, and the sky was amazing and it was um it just had this tendrils of clouds in this shape like that over my neighbor's house and I asked him to take a picture and then I I I took it and like played with the color on it and then I put it I had to move things around and put, put it through my blinds and um so you're seeing like my Christmas lights reflected on the blinds and um oh somebody's got and I was in the background. It's a little distracting. Somebody has what? <laughs> oh, thank you. So, um, so the um, so there's a you can see my response to her, and I played around with exposures and color and Photoshop there a bit, and then she responded back with this, which is sometimes you know when you go back and forth, you feel like a connection between all the pieces. So this next piece, I didn't feel like she had any connection to the previous one. It was like a fresh start. Um, and she wrote a poem with the two or a, a quote from Anne Bronte. But I, I responded back and I, I was, I got inspired to like, so she did sky and, and like fields of corn. And I went, I made an acrylic painting then of my hair in the water. Like if I'd been looking down and like foam and I tried to kind of co uh, to copy her compositionally though with the where my foam was and the hair looking like the the corn so I you know and then I wrote a poem and it says I looked down uh, oops I looked down in wonder at my tendril as my tendrils of hair were gently tugged towards the sea <laughs> so it was kind of fun to like it's great when you get like into something you're not used to doing. Like, I don't usually use words for expression, but her piece helped inspire me to write a little poem with it. And so that was that was really fun to go from a photo then to a painting. And then her next piece was she went back to my, my picture and she inserted um, her, I think it's herself holding a mirror and like it's, it might be in her area. I'm not where, sure where she was with it, if it's at her house or what. But you know, there's you don't you see what's in the mirror, which she obviously had to angle it so she didn't get her camera on it. And then you see what's behind the person holding the mirror. And that was that was like wow, that's like that made my brain kind of go whoa. You know, that's like so many concepts in one picture because she's using my window and she called it looking through your window, I think, <laughs> her response back. And, um, and then we had a little conversation about how the difference between looking and seeing. So then my piece, I had to kind of think on it. Sometimes if you sleep on things, you sort of get a different inspiration. And I, um, <laughs> unfortunately for my husband, that inspiration came at 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I'm not so good with the camera, but I knew what I wanted to get and I tried and I wasn't getting it. So I asked him if he could wake up and take the picture with me with the better camera. And so oh, that's hilarious. I liked, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, the mirror, you know, and she's, I'm not seeing, you know, it's about, you know, I was thinking about how she set up that shot and she's in the shot if she's holding the mirror, but we don't see her. So she's, it, but she's still there. So I was like, well, I'd like to take a picture. And I, I like the idea of night shots. And my husband does some astronomy photography. And um, 
So I, I found Amir upstairs at one in the morning in the attic, clamoring around while my husband's trying to sleep. <laughs> and I was trying to be real quiet. And I brought it down and it had plastic on it. So I tore the plastic and I put it on the ground outside of our house. And it's totally dark out, but it was real clear sky. Um, if you were able to zoom into this, you would see the stars. And it's me, you know, like my reflection in this one. I thought this one, I took myself pretty far conceptually because um, right. it was like really inspiring, you know? So it's the stars and the, and the branches from the tree are in between the tears of the plastic. And so I'm sort of muted. I'm there, but you can't see my face or anything, but I'm still in the picture, just like her. And, um, and then she did this one, another one that sort of like, uh, it felt disconnected from my last piece. Like it was sort of like a fresh start again. So, so um, she did the poem with a, a picture of a, and I kind of wondered if this might be in her backyard. I didn't have a chance to ask her, uh, but it's like a stream. Should the guide I choose be nothing better than a wandering cloud? I cannot miss my way. Another, another quote by William Wordsworth. Um, so it, again, it was like, oh, where do I go now? Because it didn't feel as connected. So then I, I have a, we have a, so I, I was thinking if this is in her backyard, what's in my backyard? I've got a swimming pool in my backyard. And it's, it's really, it, there's some great stuff that I figured out that happens in that pool from photos and lighting and stuff from just her helping, you know, working with her on this. So I took a picture of um, the, a, a pebble after I dropped it onto our step there. And I did it several times. I was taking photos and then I took video. So here's the shot I really ended up liking and putting on my Redbubble site and all kinds of products. <laughs> and, um, and I love the reflect, ref all the little weird funky shapes. If you zoomed in, you could see like, there's just some fun lighting stuff happening there. And then, um, then I did the video and I posted that too. So I don't know if you've got that, uh, yeah. Christine. But it's it's me. It's the video of the the pebble falling to the pool, and I like the ripples. It has sound to it. I don't know if you get it. Yeah, you can hear. It's probably does not that loud here, but I heard it. Yeah, there's basically at the very end. It, it, I wanted to show like the the way that ripples rippled out, and then at the end there's a, a crow just going, caw, 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 yeah. and that's the end. <laughs> Um, and then uh, she said she was really, really excited by that piece. She loved it. She thought she found she like could see part of me in that, and it was humorous. And um, but then she took she couldn't get back to working on her projects for like three days. So it was it was like wow, I'm gonna I'm was anticipating what she was gonna make next, and and then it just time kept going on. And my and, you know it's interesting when you collaborate how the that deadline does help you, but if people don't follow it, you 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 lose your Kind of trust or your ability to be inspired again you know and it was right towards the holidays so it was a little all kinds of things happening but then she eventually did this one the day we turned stuff in which i was glad she like got her her last piece in and i didn't have time to respond but it, it's pretty cool it, you know i don't know what to, how to speak of it but uh it's it's definitely got some interesting stuff in there awesome well what a what a great collaboration yeah, she. I wish she'd been able to have more time. It would have been fun to see that go a little further. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, and I think Stacy has been waiting a little while. She couldn't raise her hand, but Stacy, do you want to go ahead and talk? Yeah, I'll talk. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I think you were with uh, Jamia. How do you do you know yeah. how to pronounce her name, Jamia? That's how I say it. Okay. Sure. Every time she's here, I always have to ask her, and I feel so bad. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so that's the first one that she sent me. She said that she had uh, used some scraps to fill that I don't know sock looking thing, and so I um. I got like a paper towel tube and I scrapped it or stuffed it with scraps from my, <laughs> just like some collage stuff. And I just, I just left it on my backpack cause it's kind of like, I just figured it as like, you know, she was using her extra. So I thought trash kind of, not like her art was trash but like she's recycling. Yeah. Stuff, kinda. Yeah. So, and then she sent me um, that which I took kind of like as a flower pot maybe. Yeah. And then, um, so I did, 
I made a box and I turned it upside down and then I used um, copies of some of my work from the first time I went, or I did this collab thing. And so I made the flowers out of scraps of my other art, just oh. double-sided uh, pieces and just hung it upside down. And then she sent me this. So I took that as like a, some kind of like bag. And so then I, um, I put a bag up here in the left-hand corner and it's like the moon is in there and it's glowing and um, Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that came to it when she sent me that. And then uh, okay, so I hid the face and then I kind of um, took that as she didn't want to go outside due to or she like was embarrassed of what's going on in the world or whatever. So then I that's what I did. I don't know. Very cool. And then she said something about the safety cone that was from the previous one. And that's what made her made that hat. And so, um, yeah, so I did that. That's like a, I used an airbrush and some colored pencils. Oh, great. And then that's what she's turned in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I was gonna say. That one, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and then a couple of the, yeah, the handmade pieces. Oh, she had a few of these. Okay, and then she sent me a series of, of those kind of photos with a bunch of pictures of her, and that's so that's what I did on this one. These are out of the tube down there is coming out a bunch of Polaroids. Of I don't know what it is, but um. Wow. Yeah. And I, I didn't get to respond to this one, but I like that one. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I like that how she did. I didn't even see that one. Oh, the second one? Yeah, how she did that like uh, little devil thing in the middle. Or I mean, that middle flower down there looks kind of like a face, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's someone in your waiting room. Oh, thank you. Oh, that must be the, oh yeah, Lynn. Um, that's awesome, Stacy. I love this collaboration. Very cool. Yep. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, it's a new interview. Okay. Let's see. Um, and Sean, do you wanna go ahead and go? Um, I don't think Jeannie's going to show up. <laughs> sure. Um, did, um, let's see. Yeah, did Jeannie show up or? It doesn't look like it, no. Uh, where, let's see, where are you on here? Oh, that's okay. All right. <laughs> Finding your, oops, come on. So... Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> so, so I've really enjoyed this response and, and this dialogue so far for the past, I guess, five times that we've met and I've joined. And each time, it really it seems to be completely different, the personalities, well, but we're also working together and the communication with other people. It's very fascinating, the, the process, this new way of uh, getting together. Yes, 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 I see that, yes. Okay, so um, it's just fascinating because with the first white person with the post and tending to write everything back and forth, and emails and pictures and the responses. This is my first time that I've kind of responded and I've picked a topic uh, and you know suggested family, but uh, the topic for everybody. So starting with family and taking 
you know, shots of that kind of thing and really being fascinated by it. It's kind of inspired me. So on a, a digital type of platform, this picture here, this is called, hang on, I'm getting a type message. Yes, it's okay. So that, yeah, it's digital. So um, <clears throat> it's a digital collage, and it's watercolor that I use. I use watercolor paints, and I did this on my iPad, on my computer playing with it, playing with various textures and, and colors. And it was kind of a, a fun process. So just kind of uh, following what was suggested. And I just love this kind of project. It was really a, a fun kind of expressive, you know, reading and, and going through this and then kind of learning about myself. The, the pictures, uh, the red flowers that were so just red, I, I responded with, you know, colors and, and paints with that and lights, different light uh, perspectives and, you know, trying to take pictures of flowers that kind of inspired me and put that into a collage again. And then I sent that off. And then she said, it looked like it was dancing, like the flowers were dancing or something. And, or the, the light was dancing. So yeah, I had the holiday lights there that added some effect. And I wasn't sure if the words were connected, but definitely it's, it seemed like poetry and just really, it just kind of, uh, gave me the chills when I did that, that type of collage. So I thought it was very pretty. And I, I, it was a oh, wee dance. So it was kind of glamorous. And I think, um, yeah, that's, that's an interesting word. to think about, you know, the painting as being, you know, it brings out that kind of emotion. And like I would, I would put, I would put makeup on or something, you know, I never, I never connected the feeling of painting or the feeling, just the feeling and then painting and how that can inspire you or how that can affect you, how that can affect your emotions. I did write something, hang on. I wrote something on my little pad here in my little booklet, my little sketchbook. Where did I write that? Oh, this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I sketched this. Yeah. And then I sketched this. And then I took pictures of it and tried to do a collage with that, with the pictures, with paint. So that was kind of my inspiration there. And then to add the light and the texture and, and send that off. And then I did some uh, pictures of beach, beach scenes and sand and rocks and shells and that kind of thing. And write a poem related to that. It was, it was a crazy process, really. <laughs> uh, so when I was reading about poetry, I, I see how easily it connects, how the words connect to these pictures. Not that I could do that before, but I definitely see that now. What else did I put in my book here? I don't know if I can find it. I can't find it. But anyways, I wrote some different things related to the pictures, related to the art and the project itself. 
Um, and I did a kind of wreath of words and a little bow at the very top and kind of painted uh, a nativity around that. I think that was one of the other projects. And then I cut that all out and did this kind of bow tie kind of thing and took a picture of that. It was a, I, I sent that off also. And then I did a picture of a tree and I didn't know why I was taking a picture of a tree, but reading some other things related to, I guess, white and, and then realized how they connect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whoever responded with that, yes. The light is the response of, yeah, exactly. It kind of, uh, the lights kind of show up and go away and show up and go away. Um, and, and, and it kind of shows, uh, it gives a, a feeling of the holiday. And it didn't look like a Christmas tree, but it had the feeling of, you know, the lights gl glittering or turning off and on. And it just kind of gave me a really good feeling. And it made me really think very deeply, really. <laughs> yeah. um, and I guess it called the Milk Way, the Milky Way. Ah, yes, it, yes, you might be right. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. But um, so I have to create some other art and see what else did I do in my book here. I did this, I don't know if you guys can all see it. Whoops, I had it upside down. Um, and I took a picture of this and then I flipped it and I used the picture in the background over here that's right behind me. And I used some of the colors to overlay on that, on the app that I was using. And that made the most recent one that kind of inspired me to make some other ones and send those off. So it's just really been a completely new, wonderful experience, really, just really inspired me to do other things and to read other things and just, let me see, what else do I have here? Oh, this, I did this little piece and then that spawned a part of this type of picture uh, on my iPad. I did this picture on my iPad and added color to it. And, and this is called uh, communication. And it's inspired how people communicate, how people speak a language, how people hear a language how people sign a language and just really about how people communicate, whether it's spiritually, whether it's with a God of your choice, the picture just, it seems to be perplexing, but it's about communication and, and maybe my, my own, wondering about communication. What is communication for each individual? That's awesome, Sean. It seems like the call and response really sparked in you, you know, something new and exciting to work on. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Very, very, um, I really enjoyed this kind of back and forth. Um, emailing and, and sending off something and getting some type of response and, and, and how that kind of continued to inspire me to create. And I, I just, I went from, you know, from the emails and then the responses and then the emails and then the responses and, and just, I, I want to continue doing that. I think it's very cool. Oh, good, good. Definitely sign up for around 11. <laughs> okay. Thank yes. you so much. Maybe, maybe so, yes.
<laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Good, good. <laughs> All right, um, let's see, Alfred. And uh, I think, where are you on here? With, um, oh yeah, with Gail. All right, are you, where, where are you? Oh, there we go. Hello. Where Hello. Is, where's Gail? Um, Gail, I don't think is here. So oh, if you I, want to go ahead and just tell us about um, how oh, the collaboration went, rather than going over each piece individually. You know, talk in general, I think, you know, all I do is she, she went first, and sent me stuff, as you can see, and I just cartoonize everything. I'm, I'm a cartoonist and an animator, and, you know, I just see whimsical stuff. So I saw a map, and I did like a, um, the scream thing, and then she took that and made um, uh, avocados with red pits and then I animated it. So really it was just fun. Yeah, well, she has to push the button. I can't do it. This is her play it. Sure. <laughs> How'd you like to eat those avocados? That would be very fun. <laughs> and then she sent this stuck the avocado shapes on her friends or, you know, on bodies. And then I took that and um, did this. <laughs> I'm enjoying playing on the iPad Pro with Procreate. If, if some of you who know Procreate, for 10 bucks, it's like having an animation studio in your lap. It's unbelievable. Uh, all the effects and things you can do. So I recommend checking out uh, Procreate. Oh, cool. If, if an iPad. Thank you. And then that's the, mine, mine is on the left with a screaming uh, pickle. <laughs> oh yeah, they weren't videos. No, they weren't, they weren't videos. So yeah. you know, it's fun. I had a good time. And it's, uh, it reminds me of a game. I've been drawing pictures since I was born. And I, in a game when I was a kid, we'd have five or six kids sitting around the table. And one of us would draw a line and hand it to the next kid who has to just add to that. And then the next kid had add to that. And then it comes around to me. It's something I never even, you know, uh, it's a little bit of call and response, except that's more like post office. Yeah. Or in school, we used to call it exquisite corpse, which is based on surrealism. Exquisite what? Corpse. Exquisite corpse. Huh. That's what they yeah. Do. Look it up. It's really cool. You fold right. the paper over and add to it so you, nobody knows what it's going to oh, I, I see. It's hidden. Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Uh, let's see. And then Libby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's turn off your video. And really fast, um, Kess or Pasha aren't here, but I just have to show you this. Kess, um, so they started, and then Pasha, I think, um, kind of, something happened and she disappeared. And so Kess, um, it's actually, it's kind of funny. Um, she like just kept going and she's like, what happened? I was looking for you. And then she was just waiting. Kess is, or no, I guess it was Pasha, I'm sorry. Um, Kess has left the building. I shall accept the challenge on behalf of Kess. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> It was really funny how she like just kept going and ended it. <laughs> All right, Libby. <laughs> I was paired with Olive and I really enjoyed working with them. They, they have a very free kind of way of expression and that made me feel freer. Um, You know, I've been thinking a lot about records and history and file cabinets, and so that was on my mind. Um, and they responded with a combination of collage and video and and poems. They have a lot more like familiarity with video than I do. Um, so 
when I, I sent them this, which was um, kind of a like instructional an instructional manual on how to set up your file cabinets, <laughs> and they responded with a video of themselves dancing around um, in front of a dresser. <laughs> And so then I was like, okay, I, I decided um, I didn't ever do video, but I did a puppet show here, um, which was a real big stretch for me. I had to figure out how to do the soundtrack. So I just hummed um, awesome. one of Mozart's horn concertos, which I love. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it was really fun. I like I like puppet shows I discovered. Oh, cool. I've never done that before. There's the horn concerto. <laughs> it's very goofy. <laughs> And I had to make the puppets, of course. And you made the file cabinet and everything? Yeah, the file cabinet, yeah. yeah. I had to kind of design the whole thing. So <laughs> here's the dancing. <laughs> yep. Whimsical. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, what I thought was interesting about this is that file cabinets have a kind of a heavy feeling for me, but all have responded to them in a much lighter way, and that was kind of freeing. You know, they started thinking about their old journals and how they want to go back into them and see what's in there. Oh, cool. And they're able to do this like layering a video, which I have no idea how to do that stuff. <laughs> I'm totally analog. I don't know how to do any of that stuff either. But it reminded me of the tectonic plates. So I, um, I did a little GIF. I saw that immediately too, when I saw her. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And then she responded with, um, this is an adaptation of a photograph that they took um, while, while traveling. I think it might have been Death Valley. Um, so then I responded, I was using these um, interesting ink color blocks from an old military color color wax printer. They're the CMYK blocks and they're interesting. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, what a really, really cool collaboration. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for participating. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. I think, um, has everybody gone? who um, wanted to go, or I think we got everybody who's here left. Um, thank you all so much for being here and for participating. And, you know, again, they're always so inspiring. They're, you know, I, and it, especially listening to the artist talks, you know, listening to all of you talk about them. You know, it's so great to get to know all of you better through it also, so. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, I think with that, we are probably done. So um, everybody should get up and stand because we've been sitting here for a couple of hours. Um, I'm gonna go walking with a friend. So um, please enjoy your night and stay safe and healthy, everybody. Sign up for round 11, you know, cause we're gonna need it for January. So. What's, what's the deadline for round 11? Um, the 11th, I think a week, something like that. Um, a week from tomorrow. So okay, the 10th, thank you. the 10th. You're welcome. You're welcome. So cool. Um, all right. Everybody have a great night and a great, uh, great new year for sure.
Take care. Bye. Bye. Until next time. Yes, till next time. Good to see everybody. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.